So what I'm about to show you is the game jam that I worked on from June 10th to June 11th, 2016. It was a 30-hour game jam starting Friday evening at 6 and ending Sunday morning at midnight. While the demo may not be very long in of itself, I incorporated a lot of new aspects that I had never tried before. So I wanted to create this little uh, demo reel to sort of explain what's going on and the different elements that went into making this project. So once we get started, I'll sort of walk through what's going on. So we have a general character here who has a very simple animation going on that's looping with the hair, the hat, and the arms moving back and forth. We have the WASD keys with a camera follow script so the, ca the character can walk around. Um, as you notice, there are these doors right here. And if we spin around, we have this wizard. This wizard. Um, as you will see, it has a recurring theme of it of having two colliders. One being a collider directly on top of it to prevent the character from being able to pass through it, and a second acting as a trigger to either unlock doors or prompt dialogue boxes or destroy different um, objects that are in the scene to help with level management. So as we walk forward, we're going to prompt the dialogue box. Welcome, please find your first spell. And if we were to try to walk through the wizard, it's not going to happen. Now if we turn around, we see that the door has been opened and we can walk through it. Now we can go pick up this first spell book that's laying here, which also has the two different colliders on it. I should test right now that if you are to try to press right mouse button or left mouse button, there's nothing that's going on. So once we walk forward, we're going to trip this collider is going to play a sound effect, use left mouse button for small attack, and then it destroys our little spell book here as well as destroying the door. So like I had said earlier, the right mouse button isn't doing anything, but now the left mouse button is shooting some small lightning bolts. The original concept was to be able to have sort of a health mechanic to take out the different enemies that are scattered throughout the level. As I was going through it, I was running very short on time, so that was one of the ideas that got scrapped. So as we walk forward, we're going to trip a collider that's going to stop the current song and play another song. So as we get further into the core of the level, it becomes a lot darker of a tone and we see more monsters and more enemies. So now we have a more epic sounding soundtrack. We also have animated or modeled um, torches along the walls with different lights coming out of it. So the original idea was to be able to shoot the bird and have the bird die became scrapped. So now going back, the right mouse button is still not doing anything and we have this door over here. So we go in and we pick it up, pick it up, and now we have a right mouse button for large attacks, which can be seen as like giant rocks and boulders. Um, I do want to point out as sort of a level design aspect of it, if you were to try to restart the level, the lights get a lot darker which helps exemplify the lighting that we see right here. It sort of draws the focus to that spell book that was laying there. Now if we were to come down this hallway, the idea was to have a gigantic troll ogre thing standing right there to surprise you as you come around the corner. But due to my ineptness, I don't know how to stop the camera from clipping right there and it sort of takes the monster out. So it's still playing the animation that we want it to, but as we get close, it just sort of destroys. I'm not sure what's causing that, um, but we do have a mottled hat, um, some bloody robes, and some blood lying over here. So the sort of natural progression for the player is to come around the corner and sort of have your eyes draw to what's going on over here. So you come over here and you see the student um, get beaten up and now is bleeding on the floor with two different students try to help it. I try to stick with sort of a theme of the purple around there, um, but I kind of like the orange off of the main character instead. So as we come up to this third level, um, we're going to hit another trigger. It's going to stop the music, play a sound effect, as well as play an animation that locks the player into the room. Once the player is into the room, it will destroy everything else in the level, so it sort of helps deal with level management, and then that's where the game sort of concludes. So as we step up here, we'll just let it play out. We turn around, and we have...
have a glider that sort of drops down and prevents me from walking back through. So now we're into this room and we can't get back out. So this would be the point where I would open up some sort of door here or I'd open up another mechanic here or something to that effect. But overall for a 30 hour game jam I was very impressed with the progress that I had made. So yay. I hope you enjoyed.